All right, well, you may have heard people talk about getting a dopamine hit when they get a like on social media. Yeah, but what exactly is dopamine and what is it doing to your brain? Briella Tomasetti explains how it all works. Most of us have experienced it at one point or another, the euphoric feeling when that latest Instagram selfie becomes a huge hit, like suddenly pouring in from friends, family, and followers. It just so turns out social media platforms leverage the same neural circuitry as slot machines and drugs to keep us satisfied and coming back for even more. What happens when we get a like on an Instagram feed is that we get a release of the neurotransmitter dopamine in the brain's reward pathway and we feel pleasure. Dopamine is a type of neurotransmitter or chemical in the brain. It also plays a major role in how we feel pleasure, helping us to strive, focus, and find find things interesting. Anna Lemke, a professor of psychiatry and addiction medicine at Stanford University, explores that connection in her book, Dopamine Nation. Things that are addictive release a lot of dopamine all at once in the brain's reward pathway. And our primitive brains were not adapted for those high highs. Lemke doesn't just so. compare social media to an addictive drug. She believes it is one. And it's the reason why we're so glued to our smartphones. We can enter compulsive overconsumption that exactly mirrors what happens when people get addicted to drugs like cannabis or alcohol. Once that dopamine high wears off, we're often left feeling even worse than before. The universal symptoms of dopamine withdrawal include anxiety, irritability, insomnia, low self-esteem, and depression. But that next hit probably won't be as rewarding. The result is not just that we go back down to baseline levels of dopamine. We actually go below baseline levels of dopamine. So we enter a little mini deficit. Believe it or not, you may need to actually take a break from social media and get your fix in a different way. Lemke says exercise, ice water baths, or even reading a book are all good alternatives. If we can just resist the urge, then ultimately what happens is that our brain starts to regenerate our own dopamine and our own dopamine receptors and to reestablish baseline homeostasis so that we're not as mentally preoccupied with checking our phones. The result may not be instant gratification, but it'll likely be even more rewarding in the long run. Briella Tomasetti, Fox 5 News.